All right, I haven't done one of these in a while and it definitely needs to happen. Um, this is all for my sister-in-law and whoever she wants to give it to. Doing a declutter, if you haven't noticed, this is my desk slash where I do my makeup. So I already went for the drawers. I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm giving away. Um, I got this in a boxy charm. I'm not really into liquid liner, but Kelsey is. She does wings and stuff. So this Butter London Roll On Precision Liner. Excuse being out of breath. I'm 33 and a half weeks pregnant. Um, this Dove's the colors. It's a really good formula, but because of COVID, we're not really. I'm not really wearing lip products, so no one sees them. And I'm not a fan of like the darker colors, but I think it'll look nice on her skin tone. It's Heartbreaker. And then let's just do all the lips. This lip liner by Wet n Wild. They're not cruelty free, even though it says they are. They're not anymore. It's a really good lip liner, but again, I'm not really wearing lip products. And I have enough right now. It is in the shade Bear to Comet. And then we have the Elf. Um, oops. The Elf. I don't know why it's not focusing. It says natural. It's like this matte lip color. It's really good, but I don't think the color looks very flattering on me. Um, pale and then we have this I believe this is by bite yes it is a basically like that but it's a little creamier why is it not focusing in the shade Gla glace g-l-a-c-e i'm trying to see if they, i don't even know if they make this i don't know where i got this i think it's a matte cream i think it came with like i don't know like a freebie or something and then this came, I believe, in a box of charm as well by Bodyography Heath Berry Lip Liner or Lip Pencil. I don't know if she's worth this color, but I'm sure she'll find someone that will wear it. Hello Kitty Collab with ColourPop, the Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Lock Diary. It's really pretty, but I just don't wear colors. Like, well, I mean, I don't wear really lip products at all right now, <laughs> to be honest. Dose of Colors. Liquid lipstick and um, catching feelings, and then we have these two ones by Tarte as well. There, this is a good formula too. It's a little, it's way, it's definitely drying compared to the Dose of Colors one. That's one my favorite formula. FOMO and Rose, and then. Ofra, this is a really good formula too. And Verona, it's just not again flattering on me. I think that's all of my lip products I'm giving her. I forgot what brand this is. I got this from Ed's. Actually, it's right here. Makeup by Sandra or Sandra. I believe it's Sandra. These are kind of drying for me. I have, I have like really dry skin and Kelsey has oily, I believe. So I think these will be better for her. They're just concealers. I was trying to see if I like them, but they're just always very dry on my skin. But like I said, we have very different skin types. This blush, oh my gosh, by Studio Makeup. It's really, I really like it. As you can see, I've, I've used like um some of it, but I don't like shimmery blushes really. I like, I prefer masks. The color is really pretty. This luminous loose blush. Um, let's see the color. This is just a luminous blush. Um. These are really, these are really good actually. Um, these shadow primers that make you pop. This is like a darker one and then a white one. And then, um, Pretty Vulgar Setting Powder. The Powder Room Mad About It. It's really good. It's a translucent powder. But I already have powders that I like more. And again, this is just not, <laughs> the baby's moving. Um, this is just not, um, I have enough powders and... A lot of product in this a packaging is kind of bulky it's really pretty but yeah i have ones that i like more and i guess like i said i think she would like it more than me then this blush i like this color but it's it's hard finding a blush for someone that's as pale as me um it's by no it's really like it's a pretty color i think it'll look better on her and this is in the shade desert rose or rose and then this elf highlighter um, in the shade Moonlight Pearl. I like this too, but I have, I have two highlighters that I really, really, are like basically like three that I really, really like more, and I just don't see myself using this, so 
and shade like that. This I've wanted to like, but it's too dark for me. Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I got it from you because everyone was talking about it on YouTube. Be my highlight. And then this is a makeup brush cleanser. I have like a dupe for the Veramona um, color switch, but this is really good if, you're, if you want to like clean off your brushes really quick. Plus you like that. This eyeliner by um, Jante Blue. I'm sure I butchered that in charcoal. And then um, we can get into, oh, uh, these are just some samples. Obviously this isn't cruelty free, but I thought she, these are definitely not my shades. So I thought just in case she would like that and it's oil free, stay matte, not my type of makeup at all. This I got in the box charm as well. These eye gel packs. So by self Main. And then, um, let's get into eye product. Oh yeah, and this, um, I don't know where I got this. This Versace, like, Dylan Blue Perfume, not into perfumes. This I got for Christmas, actually my first video used this. Um, I have never really liked the shimmers. I like the mattes, obviously. You can see I could pan on two. It's really good, but I've been more into like different colors. I think she would like this more than, um, I, I didn't dislike it, but like definitely wet these if you're gonna, if you're gonna use this. This was limited edition anyway. This was the Chloe Morello palette, but it, volume one. The mattes are really good. They're almost like the It Cosmetic formula. Um, but the shimmers are just way too, they're not metallic at all. They're very like hard, like hard pressed as you can tell, but if you wet it, you get more pigmentation. So anyway, I thought she would like this. It's like, a, it's not bad. It's just not my type of shimmers. And then I literally hunted this down at Walmart and I like it, but I have um, I like more all-in-one palettes, and this is all shimmers except for the black is a matte. But I thought she would like this. It is the Everyday Eyes palette. But it's a good formula, and they are very metallic, as you can tell. This is a ColourPop palette that I got for Christmas. Or, I was going to give it to somebody for Christmas, and then I was like, no, I really want it. And I have just barely used it at all. So, so all I see is magic. Um, I'm just not of these peachy shades. They're not flattering on my skin tone. The shimmers are pretty good. Um, the mattes are really good. Uh, but this is just not, because like, I don't reach for it. It's just, again, not an all-in-one palette for me. So I think she will really like it, though. And then I've used this palette. I got this in Epoxy Charm. I really like it, too, but, again, it's not all-in-one. And I gave her another one of these Tarte palettes, and I like, believe she hit pan on everything. <laughs> But it's all shimmers. They're really pretty shimmers. Like, I, I really like these were my favorite two for my inner corner. I've used all of them. It's a very everyday palette. Rainforest of the Sea, Volume 3. I believe I gave her the Volume 2, but it was cool tone. And I don't really like cool tone like that. And the single um, NYX eyeshadow. I have other yellows now. But this was my first yellow. It's in the shade SCFU. So, yeah. I believe that's all I'm, like, getting rid of. So, yeah, I don't think I'm getting rid of any brushes um, or any other products. We can just go through. This is clearer. Um, I'm, I wanted to give her, I might try to give her these two highlighters because these are way too dark for me. But I need to find a way where they're not going to break. Um, and then, yeah, I think that's it. There's some makeup, lots of palettes, and then we got some stuff back there. But, yeah, so anyway, that was my declutter. I'm going to try not to be a hoarder anymore. It wasn't, like, too bad, but I'm giving away quite a bit of stuff. Oh, yeah, and I wanted to sh tell you guys what I've used up. Oh, let's dry it out. Um, it has two products. This is a really good concealer by Catrice. Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer in the shade uh, Porcelain 010. Um, I'm trying to find a really good zero waste concealer, but it's really hard um, to find one. Especially when like I can only buy them online. 
And then this Stila Glitter and Glow, I believe, or it's a Shimmer and Glow in Kitten. This dried out pretty fast, and like, I think they're okay. I'm just not really into cream eyeshadows. So that's my declutter. And you guys gotta hear me super, super out of breath. So, and this was, this already is totally obviously. So, bye guys.